Um, after the Second World War, um, uh, an extensive program of cinema development is implemented in Yugoslavia. Uh, many cinemas that were destroyed during the war has been uh, rebuilt and new cinemas were open, um, as well as many uh, production houses throughout whole former Yugoslavia. Um, Interesting fact is that uh, all the former republics uh, of Yugoslavia were investing uh, money in these movies. So Yugoslav movie uh, was really Yugoslav. It was not made only in Serbia, what became today Serbia or Bosnia or uh, Slovenia, but it was really Yugoslav. Uh, as the same counts for the stars that were playing there, uh, being the... Uh, um, uh, star in a Yugoslav movie meant that you are really Yugoslav star. You were uh, popular uh, in all um, old republics. And um, um, emphasis was also on uh, uh, international co-productions. Some of the movies in that time uh, won prizes on the acclaimed international film festivals. A lot of um, foreign directors were coming to direct uh, in former Yugoslavia. For example, um, Richard Burton was also playing Tito in one of the productions. A lot of actors were coming. So in the show, um, we are um, using uh, also all the movies, all the movies that uh, were produced from the moment that Yugoslavia was formed. So the first movie is from 1947. It's a movie uh, Slavica, uh, in which a female uh, is uh, playing the main role of a partisan uh, woman. And uh, we use the extracts also um, from the movies that are up to date from uh, the production that uh, happened a couple of years ago. When we started um, research for the production, um, actually in 2013 we already had talks and uh, preparing uh, uh, what, we, what the project will be. But uh, somehow, accidentally, the case of Avala uh, Studios uh, happened, the case of selling of the studio. Um, Avala has been already for years uh, put on sale, but uh, finally uh, it has been sold to an unknown uh, buyer. Uh, but not only the property of uh, Avala, not only the building and uh, everything uh, that is inside, studios with complete... Uh, uh, costumes and uh, requisites that were used in, uh, in movies, but also all the movies are sold. So all the movies that were state property, that were financed by the state, uh, they were uh, sold to private person. Uh, problem that we are uh, facing today is that for use of all these movies, uh, state needs to ask for the permission and for the rights of this one person while at the same time the state is the one who uh, pays for preserving these movies. Um, so it's a paradoxical situation uh, and of course this is uh, uh, one of the examples of the process of privatization that happened in this um, period of transition from communist period to neoliberal.